Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Life Tarot with Renee. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys, let's get into your reading. You know my model. If you're uh, been with me, uh, my day A1, day ones, you know my model. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're new to Real Life Tarot, welcome. Cross watchers, you are welcome here at Real Life Tarot. You guys, how have you been since we last powwowed? It's like, Renee, why haven't you been giving us our videos? Da, 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 da. I know, it's been like kind of crazy. And I'm trying to like spread the uh, the whole Zodiac out. Um, but I think I'm um, going to start giving you guys uh, more content. Even though I'm about to be on the road. So I'm going to take y'all on the road with me. But they're going to be more, uh, probably more short reads or whatever. Um because i'm gonna just be so busy traveling but that's okay all right let's get into your reading divine spirit holy spirit please send me honest messages beyond the white light of tarot for scorpios in love what's going on with my scorpios energy whoa okay spirit okay oh two of cups the devil okay mm. so you got <laughs> this is your energy scorpio <laughs> scorpios what y'all doing? This y'all energy, booze. <laughs> Listen, you want to make a love offer with the two of cups here. Let me just pull it. Mm -hmm. But there is some devil energy here. What's going on, right? So you're having like lustful, lustful thoughts about your person that you want to make this love offer to. Don't want to say marriage. I'm not feeling marriage in the energy, okay? But let's see. Yeah, seven of wands is here as well as knight of wands, okay? Y'all. <laughs> so, so you're, okay. So, so this is your energy, okay? So you're defensive, okay? Um, you're defensive in this situation, right? Trying to fight off competition. Now, this could be for your person too. So really do take the roles as they resonate. But I don't know why I'm getting this as your energy. Scorpios, what's going on, right? Um, you're in this devil energy because you're mad about something, right? You could be dealing with someone um, that's already in a connection, right and you want to come in i'm i am get i'm strong that this is for some y'all this is not going to resonate with everybody okay but some of y'all you're doing your person is in a connection and you want to come in and shake shit up right and come in and like literally steal your person away with the knight of wands that's just what i'm getting this is my intuitive download okay but there is yeah, somebody wants to make a love proposal, but there's devil energy behind that. So I don't know if it's honest energy, okay? But it's making either you or your person very defensive, okay? With the Knight of Wands being here on the board as well, um, somebody is coming in lusty, coming in hot, right? <laughs> I can't make it up. You're coming in hot, okay? Right? But you're defensive. Like, you're defensive. Like, you're trying to claim your territory, okay? So, you feel like this person or your person, too, is also, like, your possession. That's also what I'm getting, right? With the devil. I can't even make this shit up. So, who are you guys tripping on? Oh, my God. Spirit, give me one more. <laughs> Scorpios. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not taking all these. Oh. I'm not taking all these. They just flew everywhere. Hold on. Scorpios. Which, uh, not not the nails. These nails be killing me, y'all. Oh, these nails be killing me. Hold on, okay. Let me show you. Okay, they're in the upright, okay? Mm. I'm going to do just another shuffle. Y'all really want to come and whisk this person away? You, you're, you feel like... I'm strongly gathering this issue. And it's okay if it's you. This is a nudge, no judge zone, okay? This flipped over, nine of cups. Yeah. This your person. <laughs> this is your wish fulfillment. And so you willing to come in and fight off any competition, or okay? And come in and put that thing, that thing thing on them, right? On your person. Get them knocked up with the nine of cups. Look, why she holding her baby? Because that's what your plan is. Yeah, this is, you're devising a plan, right? With this devil energy. I cannot make it up. This is... This is a lot of y'all energy. This could be your person, but take it how it resonates. But in this spread, I'm getting that this is some of y'all energy, okay? Because you like, yo, your whole 
<laughs> it could be it could male or female, divine, feminine, or masculine, okay? Because females, y'all know how to trap trap mofos too, okay? So you know, like I'm gonna trap his ass. <laughs> I don't know why I said that aloud. Cause somebody said that for real. Somebody, one of you divine feminists is like, I'm gonna trap his ass. I'm gonna trap his ass. He think that he gonna be um wearing a condom or I'll poke a hole in that bitch. That's <laughs> Not funny, but that's what y'all thinking. I'm just saying what what I could hear. I could hear y'all. Tell me that's not what y'all thinking. It's just like cause she not finna keep him. She he out. Mm -mm, she nope. And he's like nope. She th she thinks she gonna be with him. No, nope, I'm a, I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. Nine of Wands energy. Okay, because that's my boo. And I'll you know. And then here's the thing. You want to come in hot or whatever because this is your wish fulfillment at the end of the day. But some of y'all not ready to give up your player ways. Okay. Okay. So let's just be, I'm just keeping a buck. That's how it's coming out, right? And um, you you defensive as hell. Somebody don't like the fact also too, you're, per, you're not with your person. Mm -mm. No, you're not. You're not with them. And they could be with somebody else that could be in another relationship. Or they're single and dating and everything like that. But you trying to trap your person down to tie them down. And for some of y'all, your person is single, you're single, whatever. But you out here doing your thing. And so is your person. But it's just like somebody, I feel like somebody wants to do this, trap somebody up. But they're also non-committal at the same time, if that makes sense, right? Yeah, for some of y'all, you may want to... um. You really may want to commit, but it's just like the way you're going about it. Very devilish energy, okay? I don't think it's, it is malicious to like really try to trap somebody up like this. But I think it's more of your ego at play, if anything. Because you're just like, fuck, like, why you just can't be your ass still? Why you got to be out, out here in these streets looking good? You ain't going to be doing that for long. Yeah, hold on, let me. Oh yeah, these okay because these are but this, this is upside down. Yeah, five of cups energy. <sighs> okay, <laughs> y'all, y'all. Somebody is feeling lost and like ah. So you feel unloved and abandoned by your person, okay? And that's the thing. Yeah, somebody feels lost and love, regretful, okay, grieving, feeling like you know what I'm saying. Your person don't want you know want you anymore. Oh my God, y'all. <sighs> Clarify this. Clarify the devil spirit. Holy spirit. Holy spirit. Clarify the devil. Clarify what's the devil energy for Scorpios in love? Yeah, you. Somebody is not. So yeah, somebody's really devising some type of plan, right? That's the energy you in. Mm -mm -mm. Either you or your person take it out of business. Okay, I see you. Why? Yeah, three of pentacles. You want to work with them, right? You want to work with them, but the. <laughs> The three of pentacles is telling me too. It's just like, yeah, you wanna um you wanna collaborate with them. You wanna you you wanna bring something to the table, you wanna work together, or whatever, but the way you wanna do it is like devilish. Okay. Ooh, look how it just flew out. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, seven of wands, because you're already juggling between two with the two of pentacles. Here's the thing. You already have too many options, right? Either you or your person or you see your person already with too many options. That's what that is. You see your person with too many options. You could also have too many options, but you do want this person. You out here in these creeps. Either you or your person take a side already. You have this one flip. Yeah, the full look. You want to go rushing in. Yeah, listen, clarifying the nine of wands. Yeah. You want to come rushing in here on, on your little on your little horsey. <laughs> Right, and you want to put you want to be the fool, you know what I'm saying? Take a leap of faith or whatever in this connection, or probably after being in um, this seven of wands energy or whatever. Um, this devil energy, thank you, spirit, spirit ain't even let me down, but these came out in the reverse, yeah. Seven of cups and page of swords in the reverse, right? So, seven of cups in reverse is somebody has some type of clarity, um, about this situation, right? You got some like new restoration of like um your sense your senses like uh, like you've come to your senses in this situation right because you do this is clarifying the knight of cups you do realize this is the person that you really want to be with right and then we have <coughs> excuse me goodness gracious <coughs> we got the page of swords right um we got the page of swords in the reverse as well but somebody is coming in with some type of bad news or whatever you um with this as well right some type of um 
it's like you're coming in weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, like at this point, you're weak about the situation, right? Which is why you want to trap your person up. For some of you guys, this could be like you having some type of financial issues, tax issues, or legal issues, or something like that, okay? Give me more clarifying. Um, I don't want to clarify anymore with these cards, okay? Let me clarify with... Um, I kind of do. Yes, I do. Spirit say, yes, you do. Yeah, clarify that. Clarify that. Uh, five of Cups. Why Why is um, Scorpio um, a person... Or Scorpios are feeling left out and abandoned in this situation. It's the Five of Cups. Okay, I'll take them. Ooh. Yeah, the Towers. Yeah, something's come to an end. Yeah, the Tower and, and, and the Hermit, okay, at the same time. Okay, you've gone deep within. Either you or your person, take this how it resonates, okay? You've gone deep within and, and, with, the, and with going deep going deep within it's like the tower is just like you come to some type of clarity about a situation or some type of uh spiritual truth or illumination or whatever but also with that truth that's it's cut it's brought down it's brought down this tower um th there's like a faulty you, this whole situation was built on fa a faulty foundation this is um the clarity that you've come to um understand about the situation so you've gone deep within you've thought about it or whatever and the whole situation was built on a found a faulty foundation i feel like some of you guys want to go in and rebuild the foundation okay but then that you know we'll see i'll do some other clarifying cards or whatever to see if the tower comes back up in reverse but we'll see yeah yeah queen of wands you could be dealing with the queen of wands okay that you want to work with that you have this devil energy um towards yeah uh leo aries sagittarius energy you could be dealing with okay don't worry i'm gonna go into the hood deck y'all yes i am thank you spirit yeah eight of swords yeah mental conflict mm -hmm. that makes sense Mental conflict, two of pentacles. Yeah, you could also be going back and forth in your head about this situation as well. You know, um, being defensive about the situation, you know, but actually knowing what it is. You want this person, but the mental conflict is you coming out of this energy of being for the streets as well. It could be you, your person, or both of y'all. Take it how it resonates. I feel there's definitely toxicity within this relationship, okay? I'm also intuitively getting that both of you guys could have, like, if you guys were at any point in a committed relationship or just dealing with each other in a situation, like, nobody was, like, really committed towards putting um, effort into the relationship, which could have also brought down the tower, Mm-hmm. As well as being a hermit mode. Ooh, this fell. Both of them. Fell. Yeah, they coming in the upright. Yeah, so, mm. What is up with these reverse cells? <laughs> okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse as well as the Emperor in, the, in reverse. So this is telling me that we're dealing with the false emperor. Yeah, and that makes sense. Bad luck. Things are out of your control. You're stuck in the rut. And then you have this emperor that's in um the reverse, right? Major Arcana, okay? This emperor is like a false emperor, okay? Very immature, right? Poor planning, Um, has a really big ego, okay? And that's what I was saying in the beginning of the reading. It's just like you're in this devil energy. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying, okay? Want to be the fool coming in, rushing in, lusty and everything hot, but you're coming in false, right? Um, Either you or your person, take it how it resonates. Yeah, because in the initial spread, this is what fell out, which was the devil. You can you, the way you think about things, so the, okay, just you and the, for the, the fact that you even thinking about coming in and getting your person pregnant just to chop them down, but then not, still not be committal, that's, <laughs> I mean, this, this makes all the sense in the world. It's just like, yeah, you see this person as wish fulfillment, but you want to trap them down and still be controlling at the same time. And it's not going to work like that, especially with the seven of cups in reverse. And you got the page of swords in reverse. Yeah. And you know, you know what you need to do, but also at the same time with the page of um swords in reverse, it's just like you're being very weak minded, right? You're not very reliable, okay, in this situation. It could be you, your person, take it out, resonate, Scorpio, okay? And and I say that I keep saying that because I'm getting the energy strong on Scorpio side that this is your energy, okay? Um, and it's okay, you guys don't have to be ashamed. like, no, that's not me, that's my person. Okay, then reverse the roles. <laughs> 
okay but y'all know who y'all are and i like when you guys are honest and be like yep that is the case because i don't want them to go nowhere but that you know i'm not ready to settle down yet but i love them yeah but at the same time you gotta that's just you have to fit you got you guys you gotta build a solid foundation before um you can actually commit to i mean you're not even trying to commit that's a thing but if you want this person to stay and you want it to work it's not gonna work if you're doing it this way i'm gonna just say it like that because i don't even really know no other way to say it okay y'all playing <laughs> spirit look set your intentions what's on this side yeah yeah you've been gaslighting you and your person take it out of resonance you need to set your intentions for what you really want and be honest about with yourself, okay, guys? Because y'all tripping, tripping right now. Either you or your person taking a resonance. This could be for you, Cross Watcher, okay? So, Cross Watcher, because you could be a Scorpio dealing with a Scorp another Scorpio who's doing this to you. So, y'all um, take that cons into consideration. Or your person, um, or you or your person could have Scorpio on your chart. You don't have to be a Sun Scorpio or a Rising Scorpio, okay? You could be a Moon, you know, take it out resonates. Okay, because I'll be getting so old and deep. <laughs> nah -uh. You reading the cards wrong. No, this is the energy. I'm reading the energy. Okay. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest, intuitive messages regarding Scorpio and love, regarding the situation. Oh, because somebody really want to trap this person with a baby. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Decisions are needed. Yeah. Then I say set your intentions. You need to decide what you clearly want, right? And your person, whoever your person is that you, you know, you're trying to come in and gaslight, they ignoring you on purpose because they know you are, you ain't shit. <laughs> Either you and your person. <laughs> right yeah some of y'all then i say some of y'all could be um dealing with somebody but you're not in a like uh, you know you're dealing with each other but you're not in a committed relationship it's unofficial right thank you yeah and some of y'all have ascended to your higher selves right so this is for the uh, scorpios who've already ascended and you're dealing with somebody who's doing this to you so okay yeah shit is about to hit the fan yeah you already feel it this connection is intense that's what i was gonna say as well thank you spirit for clarifying this intention, I mean, this intention, this connection is intense or whatever. It's a strong um, sexual connection as well, right? Because the two of cups came out. So this is the, you know, like the lovers um, will, you know, that's Gemini energy. But the two of cups, this is like a commitment. Somebody wants to come in. Not a real commitment. They, they want to propose a relationship, but it's not, it's false, right? Because the devil came behind it, right? So there is like a lot of love um, between you guys or whatever, but you just, you're your person is just in this devil energy. They want to, they want to, basically you want to save this person for later while you still out doing your thing. Yeah. And some of y'all could be out here getting y'all, um, y'all coinage up, right? Uh, making plans or whatever, um, for your businesses and things like that. Having a millionaire mindset. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Unstable energy. Absolutely. This is what's going on. Yeah. She's a runner. She's a scrap star. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> right this is what you're dealing with right so somebody is running from this connection mm -hmm. yeah because they know you guilty either you or your person or you know your person is guilty right it's just like uh they out here out here in these streets and you know what i'm saying like i, I can't deal with that or whatever right because you listen to your higher your higher self you don't want to deal with it because it's like why should i have to deal with it it's some of y'all's um energy right hold on you guys let me reposition this out of the way. Okay, let me just redo this. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, you know your person is just like non-committal, okay? So hold on. Let's see. Put these back. <clears throat> Give me more spirit. Yeah. So somebody's running, but you're going to track them down and try to trap them with a baby. Mm-hmm. Male or female, take it how it resonates, okay? Yeah, oh, look, at immature as fuck. It's, I did. I saw it flip. Hold on. I saw it flip. Did y'all see it? There it is. Immature as fuck. Yes, thank you. That's the immature card as well. With this uh, page of swords in reverse. Uh huh. I can't even make it up. Thank you, spirit. Yep. Immature. You're dealing with an immature energy because even, only an immature person would think this way. Why are you thinking like that? Right? Yeah, a habitual liar. Yeah, because you're not planning on really changing. You want to be out here in these streets. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> yeah, you want to be out here in these streets. You don't really want to change. You just want to say you you want this person for yourself. You being selfish as hell with this devil energy here. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reckless behavior. 
thank you, spirit. Spirit just popping them out. Like, yup. And this is and this what else? <laughs> thank you, spirit. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hidden emotions. Yes. Exactly. You have strong hidden emotions for your person. It's very devilish as well. You you have lusty thoughts and everything about your person, right? And you want to keep them all to yourself, but at the same time, you can't leave the streets alone. That's the problem. So you figure, right, with the two of cups, I can't make it up. So you figure I'll propose to them right and have this little happy home and this abundance and this that and the third and set up shop or whatever but i'm gonna still be out here you know what i'm saying doing my thing because you know she gonna be a home trap with this baby she gonna be home trapped with this baby that i'm about to uh plant inside of her or i'm gonna let him plant inside of me I'm, a, I'm not, I'm going to get off the peel. I'm going to get off the peel. I'm not going to take the peel. I'm going to poke a hole in the con. Yeah, y'all plotting. Y'all plotting and planning, but that's immature. And let me tell y'all something. With this type of mindset, which is the only thing that's going to happen, two things, a few things, a few things could actually happen, but I'll say it like this. You're going to end up trapping this person or whatever, and then they're going to become resentful uh, towards you because they weren't ready. You see what I'm saying? And then now you brought toxicity into the relationship, right? Yeah. And then some of them may deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like they don't have no other choice, especially if it's the female, um, you know, because she's the one carrying the child. You know what I'm saying? And it's just going to be toxic. You don't want that. That's not, that's a faulty foundation. Hello, the, the tower. That's a faulty foundation, um, Scorpios. Get it together, babies. <laughs> Now, this is another judge zone, but I'm just saying, you, listen, weigh out all, all the possibilities, okay, with what you're planning to do, because karma don't miss a soul. I'm just here to tell you that, yeah, your person is just sunflower, though, right? You are there, or, the, or you're your sunflower to them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna snitch on them, though, and tell them <laughs> that somebody gonna snitch in either... Or somebody's gonna confess, but so I feel like this snitches get stitches. Somebody knows about your person being out in these screens doing a damn thing or whatever, and they're gonna come back and try to ruin um ruin the plan and um and come tell you or them about what you're planning on doing. Okay, money is on the way. Hello, yes. Now listen, my millionaire mindset. Money is on the way. Yes, whatever you're planning or whatever, if you're putting a business together or you have some type of um financial business or something like that or you deal with finances or anything with your business or whatever um if you're a creative person that you have a millionaire mindset so you have a million dollar idea that's about to take off and your money is on the way come on scorpio and this is for a sun moon rising or venus okay uh north node okay yeah C congratulations you know yeah, gangs, okay? So somebody has player ways. What did I tell y'all? You see it? Mind fuck. They want to mind fuck you. Excuse my language, but yeah, this is what it is. They're playing games with you. The, the game is, is chess, not checkers. I'm just, y'all playing chess with this person, okay? Somebody wants to come in, even though if y'all unofficial, listen, and come up and, you know what I'm saying, put, give you an offer, you know what I'm saying? Propose some type of offer to you, whether it's a relationship or a marriage, trap you up, but still be out here in these streets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Past history. Uh, yeah. So some of this, per some, for some of y'all, this is a person that you guys have a relationship with, or, you know, you know, this person. Okay. And they want to come in and do this. All they can think about is you when it like nostalgic memories and things like that. Yeah. Look, circle in the block. Yeah, so y'all not talking, mm -hmm. they want to circle the block, but they're afraid to call you at the same time because they know, at, they know what, and this, let me tell y'all, this afraid to call y'all is also because um, your person is scared that you could be already in a relationship. And I said that from the beginning, your person is scared, go back, rewind the video, okay? Yeah, that you, they are, they see you're in a relationship, right? Or they don't know if you're in a relationship because you out here looking good, smelling good. You know what I'm saying? So they're afraid to call you because they like they see that you have suitors. They say, no way ain't nobody trying to get at my baby. I know they got somebody on their tail, right? Listen, I can't make it up. This is what we had, the seven of wands, being defensive, you know, fighting off competition. That's what that is. Yep. Thank you, spirit. Mm. Who 
Oh, yeah, and that's the thing too. The snitches get stitches. Uh huh. Somebody want to come in and snitch or whatever because you or your person is guilty about what they're about to snitch. Uh huh. That's another thing. I just want to clarify that. Okay. You know. Yeah, but they definitely want to circle the block. Yeah, they want to circle the block. But you, but they immature. It's like they, they just they play games. Your person, either you or your person, y'all play games. Y'all could be playing games with each other. I'm also getting too that this is a young energy. Okay. Mm hmm This very well, uh, very much so young. Let me, and also too, this habitual liar. This, your person probably got you thinking that they don't have any feelings for you, but they're lying. They're lying. They're lying to people. They're lying to you about these hidden emotions. They do have them. They do. You, you or your person, you do have feelings or they have feelings for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is their thought process. They want to come in hot. You know, but they're coming in as a knight of wands. And we know knights are flighty, very immature. Um, they come in, you know, they come in, they love bomb you, love you up. You know what I'm saying? Hot sex and y'all, Scorpio energy. We know what they get, what they get down is, okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, but trap you up at the same time. So be careful, y'all. Didn't I say your person wants to trap you up, but they don't want to commit. They want to save you for later. Or even if they commit to you, they not uh, a committing. What I mean, if they want to commit to you, is just that they'll they'll go through the whole ceremony, the wedding, everything or whatever, and still be out here being a player. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. But this is the issue. They, yeah, whatever happened between y'all, y'all, you they want to bury the hatchet, right? So they, they some of y'all know that they got player ways, okay? And they want you to forget about all that. So they're going to come in and be like, yeah, baby, I'm done, you know, da 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 da. And then meanwhile, yeah. But you've been self loving on yourself for some of y'all. Mm hmm. Yeah, because they, yeah, all you want from this person is truth and honesty. But for whatever reason, <laughs> for whatever reason, they can't tell the truth to save their life, okay? They can't. They're a habitual liar. You're dealing with a habitual liar. They always lying. They always lying about who they with, where they at. You get what I'm saying? Who they messing around with or whatever, but all up in your face. Boo bye. <laughs> Boo bye. This is what y'all dealing with, okay? So, y'all, let me get you some angel oracle messages really quick to see what spirit had to say about this house. I'm going to say shenanigans because <laughs> it's games. It's it's a lot of immature games being played. Yeah. Your person does have love for you. I'll tell you that. It's just that they're not ready to commit. They But they want to trap you down so they can still be out here doing what they want to do. And that's not fair. That's just not fair, right? So some of y'all is y'all running, y'all track star. <laughs> For real. The intent, yeah, the, the connection is intense. And I also gather too that you guys like have deep not only do you have deep love for this person and them for you or whatever you guys have passionate love for each other okay so yeah a year from now something could take off maybe they'll get their act together hold on i gotta yeah they'll get their act their act together that's what spirit said a year from now a year from now things could completely change around for y'all okay so let's see Let's see, Scorpio. This is a good read, though. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's good, but it's it's good not in. Like, no, it's not good, but no, it's informative because now you know what you're dealing with. For some of y'all, if you was confused or you needed more clarity, yeah. So now you know, yeah. Compromise, right? So if this person come in with this or whatever, you know, you, you could compromise with this person, okay, and see where they at. But I would take it slow and I would I would make them prove themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, ooh, the spirit is saying no, and that it's unlikely that they'll change their player as ways. Y'all, I can I'm not making it up. Y'all see me shuffling these cards. Yeah. Oof. Stress of it all. Any more messages, spirit, for Scorpios in love? Ooh -wee. They definitely want to trap you though. Mm-hmm. Romance. Did I say they go kind of try to come in? Sex you up, love bomb you, and all that. Mm hmm. Because they know that's your weakness. They know that's the other thing. The page of swords, they know that you're weak for them. Uh huh. Page of uh, seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. They know that you're weak for them with this page of swords in reverse. Sorry. <clears throat> the seven of cups, and you know this. You, you have clarity on this. You see what I'm saying? You have clarity on this already. Yeah, so just, you know, if you, <laughs> listen, 
I wouldn't settle down with this person until they really like step up their game and really show me. You're going to have to make this person show and prove, okay? All right? Whether it's your energy or person's energy, if this is what you want, you're going to have to show and prove to your person, okay? Or vice versa, okay? Take the roles as they, you know, as it resonates. All right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I tried to make it light and fun because y'all crazy out here in these streets. <laughs> Okay, uh, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button, okay, so that the video can circulate to other Scorpios looking to receive this message. And if you'd like to um, book a personal reading, you could do so um, on my website. It's um, in the link. The link is in the description box below, as well as the link to my cash app if you'd like to donate to the channel. All right, Scorpios, I had fun with you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.